Thank you for breakthroughs. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You think you convinced the devil today? No. No. When you have something like this that you're hungry for, that you're making a declaration for, you need to be up here like you mean it, like somebody paid a price for you, like you're letting him know how it is. We are created to make his name Glorious. First of all, these guys here, when we were in this age of music, we'd be up here if Pastor hadn't had shoulder surgery, I'd have him dancing with me. Because you know what? Marion, Miriam danced before the Lord. David, who? King David, took off what would be his identity as a king, let that fall off and danced, and who, who was up there on the sidelines going, which side do you want to be on? You want to be on the side where the, where the king felt empowered to lay his identity down, no matter who thought, of, who thought badly of it. Seriously, you got to want something from God. I mean, you either are a what? A participator or a spectator. Just having, just having seats that you had ahead of time that you know are going to be there when you walk in and get and everybody else wishes they had your seat. She's got some bananas on her seat. She, I just, she's got bananas on her seat, you see? <laughs> They were, this is reserved for you, right? I'm not going to sit on your bananas. See what I'm saying? This is church for a reason. Ch church is for a reason. I see you at games. Oh, your parents take all these shots of you. You're going down the courts. You're cheerleading. You're doing all these things. I saw... I saw, I'm not losing them. I'm not losing them. They need to lose some. You need to lose this. Turn on the lights back there. This is praise and worship, okay? Thank you. I meant that you didn't do anything wrong. This is praise and worship. It's time that you identify. Is there enough evidence? Pastor Shell preached one time. Is there enough evidence? If we took you to court, would there be enough evidence to prove you were a Christian? My God, of all places that I should be able to prove you're a Christian is where? In the house of God. You are the house of God. You bring the, if you want to, you can bring the sacrifice of praise. Or you can just be full out blown for Jesus. You sit in your seats like you're at a theater waiting for the main thing to come up. No, I'm so <laughs> Well, he played the song. He started the song. Happy Mother's Day is right. I'm telling you, you give birth. You know, Mary gave birth to Jesus. Mary gave birth. What have you given birth to this week? Have you gave birth to anything this week? Or do you cling on somebody else? Someone else to carry you through. Someone else to make you excited. I've seen you at all kinds of events. And honestly, as your pastor, I told them at the Hope Group last time they had a Hope Group. They were sitting in there and they were talking about things. I said, we've been on this corner for 40 years almost. 40 years. I was 30 when I come to this corner in my 30s. I don't even know if I was 30 yet, but I was in my, right there, in my 30s. And I said, now I'm, I'm going to be 73. I said, I, I'm not going to sit here and say nothing. You can't sit here and say nothing, folks. Because when you say nothing, what do you get? Nothing, nothing plus nothing is nothing. nothing. But praise stills your avenger. Amen. This was a lead-in. For you to steal your adventure. 
Has he been, has he been messing with you? Talking to you? Telling you not make it? You're too old to worship? Are you too old to worship? Hmm. As a matter of fact, it will renew you. You want renewed? You want your marriage renewed? You want your friendships renewed? You make God your friend. He has good friends. God has good friends. He runs with a good crowd. I encourage you. I encourage you because if this group up here had $100 bills today, which I wish I had done that. I wish I had some $100. I would have handed out $100 bills, but only the people that came up here was going to get them at the end. I wouldn't come up then because I would have known the gimmick. But I'm saying, what if I had just sat back here? I knew they all had $100 bills for anybody that was going to actually move forward. Even them, I don't care if Jack played the song, there's a whole stage. Or they could have came off the platform if they weren't in the song and been a part of it. I'm just telling you, it's the day, it's the time, it's the hour, and we're pressing in. And you think it's hard to get up in church among those that love you and are a part of your same body? What is yet to come, you will have to be vigilant, and you'll have to be strong, and you'll have to be mighty. You'll have to have a warrior spirit. I have a mother's heart, but I have a warrior spirit. Amen. I cried my eyes out when my little daughter went in that coma. But you know what? Within the woman rose the warrior. And I said, not this woman. You dare. Okay. You dare. I had to learn it. I listened to a lot of tapes and a lot of things. But this is the pep talk. I've seen some of you talk to your kids before. I've seen, like, hey, you just, you, if they came home with a all E's or all F's or something, what are you doing in school? You didn't say, well, you know, I know you probably, you just probably wasn't in it today or this week. No, you know that there's something ahead of them. They're going to have to push themselves further. Folks, there's something within you. There's the Holy Ghost. Say the Holy Ghost. the Holy Ghost. Can you imagine the Holy Ghost saying, I want out. I want out. No, he comes out anyways. He comes out. But this song is a declaration that God is letting you make. Oh, no, devil. No. No, you're not doing this. So my time, my, my, time, my money, <laughs> meaning I'm up here for... <laughs> um, Let's, uh, Bob has something to say to us, and uh, <clears throat> hmm? yes, and honestly, uh, we should. We could be even lined up here, and I would never get to speak because she goes, "I have something to say. I have something to say. Yeah. Oh, I have something. Oh, I need to say this. This is your service. This is your service. Amen. Amen. In pre-service prayer this morning we spoke of the Holy Spirit coming over Mary she had already said be it unto me according to your will and the Holy Spirit hovered over her and planted a seed and he wants to hover over us and plant a seed and it brings and the Holy Spirit the deeper we get into the Holy Spirit, the deeper we get into God, <clears throat> the more real, the more joy we find. And here's, here's some things about joy that the Lord wanted to say. He said, and this, what we're going to be doing, the Bible says, resist the devil and he'll flee from you. And part of the way we resist is by yielding to the Holy Spirit and the fruit of the Holy Spirit comes forth. And what he has for us is joy, high joy, deep joy, overflowing joy, fun joy, fun joy, yeah, it's fun, loving joy, joy unspeakable and full of glory, and he says, the joy of the Lord is our strength. All right, stand your feet, and uh, we had a slight change. And